In the last video, we introduced equality statements. We're going to expand upon that a little bit more and show you different types of equality and also inequality statements we can use to test specific conditions using Boolean values. I've already started things a little bit in ActionScript, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we already have. So I have two values, value 1 and value 2. Each one of these are a number, and they each contain a specific number. The first one is, uh, it contains the number 5, and the second one contains the number 3. I then am starting off a new evaluation, which is going to be a Boolean, and then I'm going to be outputting the value that's generated by whatever conditional test I put on line 6. So as we remember, we could use the basic equality statement, value 1 is equal to value 2. When I run this, it's going to say false, because 5 is not equal to the number 3. We can modify the equality statement here and substitute this with different equality operators. One that was, that's the exact opposite of equality is inequality. Inequality is a different command. Instead of a double equal, it starts with an exclamation point and then followed by an equal. Now when I run this, it's going to ask, is 5 not equal to 3? When I run this, that is correct. That's true. 5 is not equal to 3. We can also add in inequality statements, such as less than, greater than, and combine them with equality operators. Less than uses the less than symbol. So when I use the less than symbol here and I test, it's going to ask, is value 1, 5, less than value 2, 3? If I run this, it's false, because 5 is not less than 3. If I switch this to greater than, is value 1 greater than 3? True because 5 is greater than 3. You can add equality to these by adding an equal sign after the greater than or less than. So in this example, I can make this greater than or equal to. So let's modify some of the values here so we can generate some different results. Value 1, I'm going to keep the same. But I'm going to modify value 2 to be 5. So now 5 is equal to 5. So value 1 is equal to value 2. So if I use the greater than or equal to evaluator here, I'm going to get a true because 5 is greater than or equal to 5. The equal to is the part that makes that true. If I take that equal to out and delete that, I no longer am going to get a true statement because 5 is not greater than 5. So if I run this again, I'll get a false. We're actually going to see examples um, of where this minor distinction between whether or not something is equal to or greater than or just greater than will actually have implications in our applications. So make sure that you remember to distinguish between whether something is greater than or equal to or just greater than. Now that we've done this in ActionScript, we're actually going to combine this with our drag and drop functionality. So we're going to take what we've done here and then learn how to use the if and if else statements to do specific actions based on the results of our conditional tests. We're going to learn how to do that in the next video.